Well, in the next few minutes, President Donald Trump will throw his support behind Republican candidates in Wisconsin. Here is a live look at the crowd in Mosinee, where the president will campaign for the re-election of his former rival, Governor Scott Walker. Two respected polls vary, though. One shows Walker ahead by one point. The other gives his Democratic challenger, Tony Evers, a 10-point lead. WCCO's Esme Murphy spoke with early voters in western Wisconsin. At Hudson, Wisconsin City Hall, the stream of early voters is steady. Signs on nearby roads state the obvious. This is a Republican stronghold. Signs supporting Republican Governor Scott Walker dwarf signs for his Democratic challenger, Wisconsin State School Superintendent Tony Evers. But early voters we spoke with say they want new leadership. Every ad that I see is a negative ad. Um, I'm sick of it. So uh, I'm voting for change, hopefully. Yeah. That must be for Mr. Evers. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. This is the fourth time in eight years that Scott Walker has been on the state of Wisconsin ballot. He won in 2010, survived a recall in 2012, and won re-election in 2014. Walker's anti-union policies led to massive protests in 2011. And spending cuts have led critics to wage an online campaign against potholes they label Scott Holes. Some voters say they are experiencing Walker fatigue. That's what we uh, have to work on are the roads. And the gas tax that Tony Evers is um, talking about is really what, what I think we need. Walker is also dealing with the continued fallout of his failed 2016 presidential run. On the left, critics say his re-election bid is merely a launching pad for another White House run. But on the right, Trump loyalists can't forget his 2016 attacks on then-candidate Donald Trump. And right now, Donald Trump is the magic for these Republican candidates. And Governor Scott Walker is hoping that Trump magic can deliver a third term, something that won't happen without Western Wisconsin voters' support. Uh, and Scott Walker needs to build up majorities there because he's going to lose in the more urban areas like Madison and particularly Milwaukee. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. The election is now just 12 days away. Read up on the candidates at WCCO.com slash election guide.